Price deferred due to the weather at the third time of asking. This was a genuine treat for Camogie fans. As compelling a game as I've seen. Therese Mellon tipped over Slocknil's first score from play. Shortly after that, a rampaging Sarsfield struck for goal. There was a hint of overcarrying in the build-up, but no whistle, and a persistent Sinead Cannon eventually ensured the three-pointer. The next ten minutes of the opening half were Tina time. Tina Hannon, so often the standout player on the park, had Slochny level. And then the former Offaly star steered the Derry and Ulster champions into the lead. Back came Sarsfields. First, Neve McGrath. And then her sister, Captain Orla, clipped over two fine individual efforts. Tina Hannan provided yet more late first half drama. Her free, given initially as a goal by the umpire. But Sarsfield's defence insisted the ball had gone over the bar, landed on the roof of the net and dropped through a hole. On further consultation, a point was given. That didn't upset the tempo, and it certainly didn't upset Tina. Level at half-time, her personal haul of one goal and eight points was a massive determining factor in Slocknield's win. But all in, this was an heroic team performance. And Shannon Graham was upended for a penalty. Up stepped Louise Dugan, six points in last year's final. And had a goal in this year's. Five minutes into injury time and five points adrift, Sarsfields were forced to go for goal. Slochneil stood defiant. Tina Hannan, who else lifted the siege? 2-11 to 1-9 the final score. Joint captains Claire McGrath and Ethan Cassidy lifted the Bill and Agnes Carroll Cup to do what no Ulster Camogie side had ever done before. One back-to-back -back All Ireland Senior Club titles.